Yo, what's up? This is Austin with ATP, and today I got another little mixing tutorial for you. This time I'm gonna do a full mix and master. I'll try to do it real quick. Just try to one take this out, see if I can do it. Uh, this is TMB Nick Pressure. Look, bitch ain't no hoe in me. I might just say fuck it and go back being the older me. You can't rock on me if you ain't out there kicking doors with me. Sharing clothes with me, flipping packs of fucking hoes with me. Going back to back on that action how it's supposed to be. You niggas some bitches on the six, you can't get close to me. All right, now that I got all the plugins off, let's see what this sounded like just dry by itself. Bitch ain't no hoe in me. I might just say fuck it and go back being the older me. You can't rock on me if you ain't out there kicking doors with me. Sharing... The vocal, I think, sounds decent. It's pretty clear. I have a pretty decent microphone. I use the Rode NT2A. Uh, my room's treated decent, but obviously the vocal is it's pretty dynamic. It's a little bit up and down with the volume, and we definitely have some frequency issues. Especially, I hear a lot of low-end rumble. That's pretty common with Nick because he has such a deep voice. So um, I'll show you what I did. Very first thing I always do is auto-tune. Bitch ain't no hoe in me. I might just say fuck it and go back being the older me. You can't rock with me if you ain't out there kicking doors with me. Sharing. I turned the retune speed down from the default setting and I turned the humanize all the way up. Uh, I wanted it to be a pretty natural sounding vocal. I don't think this one needed to be uh, overly robotic and it's not like he's singing anyway. So, yeah, the only thing I did was change these two, these two knobs right here, and then put it into the right key to match the notes. Next up, I have the R channel. I'll show you what that did. This is a really great utility plugin to knock out a lot of problems right away. As you can see, I did a high pass cut up to 110 and then a brightness boost at 8K. This takes out the low end rumble and this brings up some of the shinier frequencies so you can hear his voice a little bit better. And then I have a compressor down here, a decently heavy ratio, but nothing crazy, 3.7 medium slow attack because I didn't want to kill the vocal too much I want some of that presence to pop out still for that uh, emotion the enunciation in his voice and then a decently quick release to bring out some of the mid-range but still tame it um, tame some of the dynamics I got this doing about six or seven uh, dBs of gain max I think that's a pretty good pretty pretty safe number for a dynamic rap vocal like this next up I got another compressor this is the CLA 2A I'll show you what this one does. Look, bitch ain't no hoe in me. I might just say fuck it and go back being the older me. You can't rock with me if you ain't out there kicking dope. This one isn't doing a whole lot. I just wanted it there to smooth it out a little bit more. It's only doing about one, two, three dBs a gain at a time. But the thing about this plugin is I really like the way it sounds by itself. It brings a lot of color out of the voice. Next, we got another compressor. This is the H comp. I think I did parallel compression with this because I didn't, I didn't want to. I it didn't need a whole lot more dynamic treatment. It just needed a just one that one extra little step. So here's the H comp. Look, bitch ain't no hoe in me. I might just say fuck it and go back being the older me. You can't rock with me if you ain't out there kicking doors with me. Sharing clothes with me, flipping packs of... This one's doing about 3 to 6 dBs a gain. Not too much different than the other ones. The ratio is pretty high. Um, pretty quick attack and a, still a faster release. But what I did here was turn the mix knob down to 27 because I'll show you what it sounds like when it's all the way up. Look, bitch ain't no hoe in me. I might just say fuck it and go back being the old. As you can see, that's cranking the fucking needle all the way to 12. Um, it sounds kind of cool because he sounds so aggressive and up in your face, but it's just a little too much unnatural, not really, not what I want to listen to. So I'll put that back. Next up, I got a little EQ. I didn't do a whole lot on this at all. Look, bitch ain't no hoe in me. I might just say fuck it and go back being the older me. You can't There was just this one frequency that was bugging the shit out of me the whole time I was mixing. I finally tamed it right here. Look, bitch ain't no hoe in me. I might just say fuck it and go back being the older me. You can't rock with me if you ain't out there kicking doors with me. Very, very subtle, but makes a big difference in the end. Next up, SSL EQ. I think the only thing I did with this was a little bit of a 2K boost and then a uh, high-end sparkle boost at 11K. I only, I'm only boosting by like 2 dBs, 
one and a half with this one. Real subtle, but just a little bit more shine on his voice. SSL EQ is another one of those that just sounds good by itself. Look, bitch ain't no hoe me. I might just say fuck it and go back being the older me. You can't rock on me if you... Nice. All right, then a de just to get rid of those shitty ass sounds. Look, bitch ain't no hoe in me. I might just say fuck it and go back being the older me. You can't rock on me if you ain't not the... Much better. All right, now to the fun plugins. I'll start off with the reverb. Look, bitch ain't no hoe in me. I might just say fuck it and go back being the older me. You can't rock on me if... I put a compressor before the reverb because I noticed when I didn't do this, I could never get the damn reverb to be leveled. I thought it was just because the vocal wasn't sitting properly, but it turns out just a little bit of compression on here really brings it to the front, makes it a lot more um, a lot more controlled and noticeable at the same time. So I, I, I like using the MV2 or the Arvox, just bring it up a little bit. For reverb, I love the Hella Vintage Verb. Um, I always set the de the pre delay and the decay in time with the whatever the BPM is, so everything, you know, hits and releases at the proper time. And then I just picked a dirty hall, uh, color 1980s, and moved the high cut or what is this? Yeah, no, low cut up to 580. Look, bitch ain't no hoe in me. I might just say fuck it and go back being the older me. You can't rock on me if you ain't not the kicking doors on me. Sharing clothes with me, flipping packs of fucking hoes with me. Going back to back on that action how it's supposed to be. You niggas some bitches on the six, you can't get close to me. Alright, next one I had a little flanger. What I always do with this. Uh, keep in mind I'm using these as auxes. I'm not putting these um, stereo separator plugins directly on the vocal. Because I think it muds things out um what i always do with this one is no it's not what i want to fucking do i use this ross hogarth phaser and the only thing i changed is i put the mix all the way up to 100 Look, bitch ain't no hoe in me. I might just say fuck it and go back being the older me. You can't rock on me if you ain't not the kicking doze me. Sharing clothes with me, flipping packs. Another real real subtle plugin, but I love how much space and that um, weird phasey warmth it gives to the vocal. Sounds really good on Nick. And then a delay. Look, bitch ain't no hoe in me. I might just say fuck it and go back being the older me. You can't rock on me if you ain't not the kicking doze with me. Sharing clothes with me, flipping packs of fucking hoes with me. Going back to back on that action high. Echo Boy is a really dope plugin because you got a lot of options for sounds you can do. There's so much different shit on here. You don't really have to edit much at all. Only thing I ever do on here is put everything in time. Um, if your session's in time, it'll already automatically match it up for you. And then I pick a style that I like and then move the high cut and low cut to whatever I think sounds good. All right, on to the mastering. First thing I always do when I'm mastering is I pull up an EQ and I use this setting right here. You probably have one similar no matter what DAW you have. Um, I use this 30 hertz, 18 kilohertz cut because we can't hear frequencies below and above this, so all it does is eat up room. Not useful for the instrumental. Second thing I do is an SSL compressor. I love this one um, because of this little analog setting right here. It brings a lot of saturation, which is really good on the master. So I'll show you what this one did. Bitch ain't no hoe in me. I might just say fuck it and go back being the older me. You can't rock on me if you ain't not the kicking doze of me. Share See here, I use the slowest attack possible because I don't want to eat up too much of the drums. I want them to punch. The producer probably be really pissed off at me if I kill them too much. Um, but I think just a little bit of compression on the drums, the whole master track, actually gives it more punch. It's kind of weird how it works. I use the auto release because it always sounds good with this um, on a mastering compressor. And then ratio, I always leave it for. Never touch this one. All right, next thing I did is the virtual mix rack. I think the only thing I'm doing here is pushing it through this virtual channel, which is another um, color plugin I like to use. Doesn't really do a whole lot besides add some saturation or warmth to the track. So I'll show you what this one did. Bitch ain't no hoe in me. I might just say fuck it and go back being the older me. You can't rock on me if you ain't not the kicking doze with me. Sharing clothes with me, flipping packs of fucking hoes with me. Another real subtle change, but it makes all the difference in the end. 
Now here's a uh, plug-in you definitely will hear. This fucker's gonna make it real loud. Oh shit. Alright. Let me close these hoes. No, I want that one. What I always do with the Slate FGX is I use it to push the track as loud as it can possibly go. What I basically do with this one is move the gain uh, as high as I need it to go to get this RMS thing to hit about 8 RMS. I'd say that's an industry standard. Probably help if I turn the damn thing on, huh? Look, bitch ain't no hoe in me I might just say fuck it and go back being the older me You can't rock with me if you ain't out there kicking doors with me Sharing clothes with me, flipping packs of fucking hoes with me Going back to back on that action how it's supposed to be Over time it'll work its way up to 8 uh, Sometimes I mess with the low end punch, high end detail Just to bring out either some more bass or some uh, shiny frequencies But this time I just left it Alright, so the very last thing I do as far as plugins go Is I use the L2 because I want to push this song even louder um the slate digital got it pretty damn close but there's still a tiny bit of room to be had here so i'll show you what this one did look bitch ain't no hoe in me i might just say fuck it and go back being the older me you can't rock with me if you went out there kicking doors with me Sherry. uh the thing with this plugin is this is the slate fgx the one right before it has got it pretty much maxed out as far as volume on the track goes if i push it any harder it's going to destroy the the drums and uh, kind of distort the entire song, not going to sound good. So you want to make sure the attenuation, if you're going to use two limiters, isn't doing more than maybe one or two at the most. Um, you can see this one's just barely hitting it. Um, then I'll pull up a little meter to show me where I'm at. I like to use the PAZ analyzer, comes with the uh, waves packages. Uh, this little thing right here measures RMS, which is... Um, I guess track loudness, something like that. I don't know exactly, but I know you got to get it to 7, 8 to compete with the professionals. So we'll see where I'm at. Look, bitch ain't no hoe in me. I might just say fuck it and go back being the older me. You can't rock with me if you ain't out there kicking doors with me. Sharing clothes with me, flipping packs of fucking hoes with me. Going back to back on that action how it's supposed to be. You niggas some bitches on the six, you can't get close to me. I remember sitting in the back... Eight and a half sounds pretty damn good on this track. Uh, it sounds loud enough to my ears. If I push it anymore, I think I'm going to ruin it. So, yeah, there you go. That's what I do for mixing and mastering. Hope you guys like it. Thank you for checking it out.